What's up guys, welcome, and today we got, I guess, an unboxing. Uh, I got a scuff one about a week ago. I know, same joke twice, it's just not funny anymore. But yeah, I was, um, you know, I, I thought about getting a scuff for the 360, but since I'm gonna get Advanced Warfare for the Xbox One, I was like, let's just get a scuff one. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit pricey, a little bit, like, even more than I was expecting. Uh, but I think it looks beautiful, and I'm gonna show you the stats, I'm, not the stats, the fucking, you, you know, I'm gonna show you the controller and see what's up. I don't have a good camera, so I, I'll not be able to do weird camera angles and show you guys this, so I'll just show you guys with this webcam and, uh, and talk about it. Keep in mind that I'm not, uh, sponsored by Scuff, personally, so this is not a, like a promotional video or anything like that. As I just said, you know, this was quite expensive. Um, so yeah, here we go. Look at that! Oh my god, it looks pretty beautiful. It looks pretty beautiful. They they call it the yin and yang. Oh my god, the balance. The balance, oh my god. Now, I'm gonna take this out and I'm just gonna overall, I don't know, like show you. Uh, oh, that's a little bit too close. You know, this is the back and this is the front. And I'm just gonna talk about it and, you know, tell you guys what I got. So the colors, you know, it's pretty obvious. I went for the black and white I saw. Uh, I think it was, um, I'm pretty sure Spready has a black and white as well. Uh, I just really, really liked it and I went for one too with the blacked out buttons. I think that looks pretty badass. Two pedals in the back, as you guys can see. Uh, it's uh, A and B. So uh, I believe the right one is A and the left one is B. I got, I don't know if you guys can see this actually in this webcam. But I got like the scuff grip thingamajig going on. And I, I'm gonna tell you right now that it feels really, really good. Uh, I haven't played with this at all because Advanced Warfare is not out yet, so I don't have an opportunity to play with this. But I can, I can tell you that the controller feels really, really smooth and it feels really, really good. Now, after that, I'm, I'm actually, I don't know how many people are gonna get surprised by this, but I don't, I don't, know, if, I don't know if you can see my, my triggers. Can you, can you see the triggers? It goes... It goes all the way. Can you see that? Can you? You, you can. Uh, I did not get the thing that trigger stops. Is that how they called? Because I personally like the uh, the animation, whatever. You know, I like the triggers, man. I I, don't, I do not go with trigger stops. I don't care. Oh my god, my god, what a mistake! Yeah, I mean, it's only very effective for. Uh, semi-auto, so I'm not too worried about it, and I really, really like the, uh, the feel of, uh, even on the 360, I just like the feel of the, um, of the trigger, so I do not want to get anything for that. To the most important thing, in my opinion, the analog sticks, let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, yeah, okay, this actually works. This actually works, you can actually see. So... Uh, this analog stick over here um, is uh, a medium concave fucking analog stick, okay? It's the sprint button, you know, I don't really care too much about it. Uh, I've heard that the standard Xbox One analog sticks aren't very good, so I went for a medium and of course it's a scuff uh, analog stick. I think it looks pretty cool, it's pretty smooth. It's just a normal. Now this one, the aim, the aim one, this one is pretty special. So a lot of people sometimes recommend me to get control freaks, but I never did because I was a little bit, I don't know, I just never did. So on this one, we went for the long range or, or fucking long analog stick. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it is like the PS3 thumbsticks, so it is dome. A lot of Call of Duty players prefer Dome and uh, on their aim stick. That, that sounds really wrong. But I've never actually tried to play with a Dome thumbstick on an Xbox controller. So I thought it was a good idea to get it. And honestly, I mean, I haven't played with it once again, as I said before. But it's just really, really smooth. And when you, I mean, when you hold it, you can actually notice that the analog stick is like a little bit higher than usual 
but uh, I, I mean you'll get used to that in, in in two seconds you know that's not really that big of a deal and I'm very happy that I got this controller I will probably make another video like a week after Advanced Warfare is out and tell you guys my opinion on how I got used to my scuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know a lot of people requested me to do this video. My name is Macau and I'll see you guys on the next one.